welcome to another video from the Art Patient Health System. As you can, as you can see, rather, um, this is a typical, this is a typical dinner for me. Actually, I've got my weeds, which are dandelions. I've normally got a bigger array of weeds. Unfortunately, because the weather's been so uh, wet, I haven't been able to get out. But I have come across some uh, new additions from a weed collection. And I've found some really nice uh, plantain, which I use on a regular basis now. And a few others which I'll be sharing with you, of course. But I've only had these from my neighbour's garden. So there's my weeds. Now, if uh, you watch my other videos, I think I told you I replaced uh, spinach with weeds because I got tired of gas in a bag, which is another story. Banana to sweeten it. I've got some celery for the sodium, potassium, um, and I've got some. I've already prepared this. As you can see, there's the spirulina. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, beetroot, absolutely fantastic. Um, one of the reasons you should be eating beetroot if you're not is it contains betaine, and betaine will lower homocysteine levels. And I did tell you how the most dangerous thing to anyone is homocysteine that doesn't get reconverted. So you've got the betaine, and you've also got B vitamins, of course. And again, we've got more B vitamins in spirulina, thanks to my friends at Indigo Herbs, who make some lovely products. Check their products out. The service is really, really good. Um, we've got some um, cucumber. Again, sodium, potassium. I've got broccoli, hydroxy, betaine. There's another hydroxy. Oh, I can't remember it at the minute. Got some more. Bro I've got broccoli there. A big fan of broccoli. There's a chemical in it that's uh, I just can't remember the name of it at the minute. Sorry about that. But anyway, let's get smoothie. And um, again, we've got my trusty uh, blend tech. So let's get going. Like I say. This is a typical, um, this will be, well this is an everyday dinner for me, this one, yeah, definitely. And this is where you want to be heading, obviously you won't be able to start here because it will be far too powerful for you, but uh, this is where you want to be heading. I'm just going to drop some distilled water in. Don't drink this still water. Dr. McCullough said so. Um, oh, and I forgot. I've got my berries here, and they're on the yeah, they're on the way out. So it's going to be a green berry smoothie as well. Uh, check out the video where I was talking about high levels of vitamin C for your arteries, and um, high levels of uh, uh, quercetin which give flexibility and feed the arterial walls. So again, if you're an art patient, you should be addressing, addressing these things. Okay, there's the berries. Put some of them in here a minute. It's gonna get loud. <laughs> spirulina absolutely this is probably the only uh, well this is the only uh, protein supplement I use it's got a full ray of amino acids and full spectrum amino acids and like I say it's absolutely loaded with B vitamins and there's a lot going on I could probably do a talk on this all on its own there is a lot going on fantastic product and of course cleans every metal out of the body which is what you want 
this day and age. Now when you start the, uh, when I first started with the dandelions, they are bitters and they're known as bitters, so they're liver and uh, kidney cleansers. So if you can get them in a smoothie, it's a great way to go. And they're about, well they are 10 times more powerful than anything that's organic in the supermarket. And they're loaded with bacteria, they're covered in bacteria. That's one of the reasons I use them. Right, I'm going to put some of these berries in there. So we're going to go even a bit more ready green. As you can see the berries are about past the sell by day but I did freeze some from the last pickings. I do believe, I do believe there's some more pickings to be had this weekend. I may film that. A bit more broccoli. Last of the celery and the cucumber. I should always sweet my smoothies with a pear or a banana. I generally drop a pineapple in but I haven't got one. I have a section of pineapple I put in. Why do I put pineapple in? Because there's bromelain in pineapple and again you're throwing digestive enzymes as well as the enzymes within all the products. Okay, that's the idea of it. You, there's very little digestion to be done by your stomach here. Very little digestion. So I'm going to do that now. I won't get bacteria. I'm getting a bit messy. Here. Now I'm going to drop a um, scoby in symbiotic culture of bacteria. I will be dropping in the smoothie. Is the uh, scobies? As you can see, there's a lot of them. And these are all, as you can see, there's literally, there's got to be 50 in there, I would say. And I've been thinning them out, see. Because they're just, uh, I've got lots of them, and there's a bacteria going in. Symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Um, absolutely amazing stuff. Your bacteriological system, that's what you are. Your pleomorphic. Not monomorphic, you're pleomorphic. Your elf is directly related to bacteria. Directly related. That's the secret they don't want you to know about. As you can see, yeah. <laughs> bacteria. Okay, there's another uh, scoby gun in, like I say. Um, you can watch other videos on what I did with uh, Wes with the bacteria uh, in the early days of the channel. Um, so I won't get too much into that, but so we're adding bacteria now, and the part that I don't drink, I will be drinking tomorrow. So it will start fermenting as well. Just have to wash my hands again. Bacteria is everything with your elf. We're just about winding this one up. 
with just enough room in it. 